in any African village, how you get received determines how valued you are. If you go to my village and I slaughter your chicken, I give you fish with coconut oil, I slaughter God for you, that, that uh, shows how valued you are to me. That said, in any African village, you must spot some indigenous chicken walking. You must see some goats around. You must see some something related to the culture, something uh, so valuable to that community. So don't get surprised if you see chicken walking around. And uh, but, but there is something you need to know. They always know their home. Whenever it gets to evening hours, they always know where they're supposed to be. My name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber based in Kenya, Africa. So today, I wanted to give you some secrets which may never be shown to you by the media. During my time as a small boy, I remember we used to travel to the village and time we closed schools during vacations. That's the time you know, you're supposed to go and learn culture. Whoever hasn't been circumcised, you need to get circumcised. You need to be told uh, the ways of your forefathers. My grandfather used to worship in the shrines, so I don't know why I never adopted that. I feel that civilization came to erode our culture. So if you ever see me going back and doing what uh, Africans used to do during Stone Age, don't blame me. Yeah. <laughs> People lived in good times when men could go hunting, then they're supposed to provide for the family. So at the time you're coming back to your home, you're supposed to have brought something. Unlike nowadays when a man can go out there, came back while drunk. At that time, if you dare do that, then the whole clan would be on your neck. You are beaten up and there is nowhere you can take those guys. I remember whenever they used to have meetings, they could go to every homestead picking goats from any home whereby the man never attended a meeting. It was compulsory. And uh, you can never sue them for doing whatever they're doing. The culture was recognized by law. I remember telling my dad that I belong to a different generation. So during my time, I don't expect anyone to be coming to my home without my consent. I love a, a, a gate and probably I'll be having some tough dogs. And I don't want anyone to come to my home and disturb my wife. I used to have some good drinks, bro. <laughs> so, uh, I'm happy that never continued. Yeah? The clan, I don't think whether it still exists. And if they still exist, it's not powerful the way it used to do. Though now we're not governed by the, uh, the customary law. We have the written law, the constitution law. So I think that's what um, made the customary law and powerful, yeah, less powerful. Someone leave a comment. I want us to discuss about this. So the video has nothing to do with the chicken you can see on the surrounding. But still, enjoy the view. Whatever they're doing here, still, it's good for your eyes. Good for your uh, psychological well-being. <laughs> this is Africa.